seal me up. Bye, Jimmy. Hopefully I don't go insane. For the next seven days, I have to survive in this soundproof white room with zero human contact and zero stimulation. And because this is actually psychologically dangerous, the most important thing is the doctor outside making sure I don't go insane. I worked in psych hospitals for 23 years, and uh, this is much worse than anything I've ever seen. Anything past 50 hours in a white room like this can lead to permanent psychological damage. And I'm about to do 168 hours. There is a chance that I actually start to lose my mind and go into something called psychosis. <laughs> And they have to pull me out because it can cause permanent damage to me. He survived seven days buried alive. Yeah. Is this much harder? Much harder. He doesn't have social contact. If your brain doesn't have information coming in, it generates craziness, it generates hallucinations, it generates paranoia. And all I have to survive for the next week is a bed to sleep on, a notebook with a pen, a refillable bottle of water, toothbrush with toothpaste, and a bar of soap, a toilet to use the bathroom, and a sink for water. At this point, it was clear to me 